Welcome back to Subnautica. We've returned once again, because apparently there's a couple things that I missed with the silence that I have to go check out. So we're heading back to the uh, unidentified signal. I'm not looking forward to this. Many of you that saw the last video know the exact amount of terror that I experienced. <sighs> We're doing this in the day. I'm not doing this in the night. No, no thank you. I'm gonna be taking specialized subs to get there. What the? <laughs> oh, it's the weather. The weather's kind of just being set off again. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's so loud. That. One, two. Hello? <laughs> Is this. Five Nights at Freddy's? Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? So as you know, they've done the impossible and brought weather to Subnautica as well. And I... <laughs> this is not okay. This is being abused. We should never have this kind of power. <laughs> what was that? Hey, I'm gonna have to stop that in my editing and see what that was. There was like an image that flashed in the clouds. That was wild! I don't like this in the slightest. The water is deep enough now for us to put this down because we're going to make two different new submarines. And while I do that, we have to talk for a second. So as you can see, there is the Cricket submarine, which is a small submarine, smaller than the Seamoth, that's designed to be able to haul cargo. Kind of like the sea truck in Subnautica Below Zero. Then we have the Mantis class, which is a precursor submarine. It's very likely I'm going to take this one out and just see if I can get to the signal without losing my mind. So I'm just going to make that one now. But I need to talk to you for a second, okay? This is serious. That's very phallic looking. Uh, this is very serious. So I have something coming up with Unknown Worlds. One of the developers is going to be doing an interview with me. The interview is going to be about the next sub... That looks amazing. That looks really cool. I got a little bit derailed there. I just, I, this is really pretty. Very architect looking in nature. This is definitely how I would expect a submarine to be. Kind of curious how it's gonna handle. But anyways, uh, so I'm gonna be doing an interview with um, an Unknown Worlds developer about the next Subnautica. Now don't get too excited. I don't know what they're gonna answer. I don't know what they're gonna say. I don't know if there's, oops, I, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if there's a limit to what I can ask them, but I'm going to ask you to leave any questions you have about the next Subnautica in the comments of this video. And the most interesting ones that I find will be ones that I ask the Subnautica developer. It's gonna be pointless to ask for a release date or when it's gonna enter beta or any of that stuff. I already know. I don't know how much, that is a tiny submarine. That is astronomically tiny. How, can I even fit in this thing? Hang on a second. This is a sea moth. That is so tiny. Look at that. Oh, you are just, you were just tic tac sized. What a, what a lovely little thing. I don't think they're going to give you a release date. I don't think they're going to tell you when the, the game is going to be out for you guys to use. I don't know what can be answered, but I did line this up for you guys. And I will ask the questions that you want asked if they're, you know, it, eh, if they're not like, you get what I mean? So leave your questions down below in the comments section. We will revisit this at a later date, later this month, or the very start of next month. This actually became a topic of conversation uh, because I was so excited about the new Moonbreaker update that's coming out uh, next month, February 1st, I think, actually. Not a sponsored plug, by the way, that I uh, <laughs> I was talking to them about that, and they were like, oh, yeah, sure. I was like, well, uh, well now that I've got you, maybe I can do an interview with you and like do like a little Q&A about the next Subnautica. That'd be kind of cool. And... Uh, it just so happened it happened. So, you know, my excitement for Moonbreaker and their big stuff coming up, uh, <laughs> led to finding out more about <laughs> Subnautica, which is good. Oh, I'm so fast! Woo! Okay. So if I'm right... Oh, okay. This thing is, like, burpy. Okay, so I have a little radar thing that tells me where the container is. I should be able to hook containers up to this thing. Cricket container attached. There we go. Let me just, uh, change it back to day. So does that actually, like, look like it has a container attached to it? I don't, I don't see anything that's- Oh, wait! Is that it? Oh, yeah, so this thing is a storage container that I've just attached to the, uh, to the Cricket. It doesn't, it doesn't drag it behind it like I thought it would. I have to actually, like, put it on underneath. Man, this weather is devastating. They've updated the weather mod, too, uh, and it looks 
way nicer, I feel at least, and it looks way more organic uh, to the world of Subnautica. So just to be clear with you, the Cricket is not an exploration vehicle. It is a gathering vehicle mainly used for excess storage space and everything else. I will not be using the Cricket to go out and see if it can handle the silence. It's a glass bubble, okay? It's, it's doomed to die if I do that. This, however, probably suits the theme a lot better of trying to handle the silence and go out and see the stuff that we missed because Aki was kind enough to tell me. Let's jump in here. I'm going to add some upgrades too. That is, it's really dark, but that is really cool looking. I got a bunch of storage, storage, more storage, and more storage, and more storage. Who needs the cricket when you have this much storage on a bigger submarine? Like, damn. But that is a cool submarine, though, not to not to knock it or anything like that. It is still pretty cool to see something like that. Let me add my upgrades real quick, and I'll uh, I'll be back to go and <sighs> go. Oh, ooh, go. Uh, woo, woo. Okay, I'll be back. Damn, I can only have two upgrades on this at the same time. Um, so that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to use... I'm going to swap them out. What I'm going to do is I will use the sonar module for now. I'm just... I'm finding out what this thing does for... The, wow, the light is actually... The light on the... Wow, that is really obnoxiously loud. I'm just learning this. So it looks like my headlight is the cube itself. I use a green headlight, which is kind of a unique design choice. I've also noticed that I don't think my speed boost works yeah it seems like speed boost might not be working and my ion shield doesn't seem like it works either so these are incompatible with this submarine for now but it feels pretty smooth and speedy and this is freaking terrifying oh everything's super glowy now i'm gonna take a second to myself <gasps> what is that what was that what was that what was what is what is that hello giant tentacle what I, um, I think my hands are... <gasps> Is that... That's, that's a, that's a sea emperor. That has to be a sea emperor. What are you... Or is that a sea dragon? No, it's an emperor. No, it's a dragon. Oh, it's an emperor. It's an emperor. Hello. It's very hard to see you with a green light. It's nice to see you here. Okay, you're running into me now. Stop doing that. Don't do... Don't do that. The moment I entered the open ocean, I started to sweat. The silence, beyond anything of horror I've ever experienced in Subnautica. I will not be revisiting this mod after this video. Are none of these working at all? Like, do I not? Did I choose this vehicle specifically because it was a precursor vehicle, but it's just, it, it's not able to do the fancy stuff that I need it to? Like, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm going completely blind into this and I, I freaking hate that. I actually hate that. I don't want to do this. Also, so you see the positioning of my hands, right? I'm assuming you can, assuming it's not too dark still. Uh, I have a feeling that the idea behind this isn't so much steering wheel and more the architects control their stuff with their mind. So I'm guessing that the whole vibe here is I'm doing stuff with my hands because I'm telekinesis or whatever, whatever the, the deal is with it. Let me just go up here. Oh, God. Yeah, you can see my hands better there like that. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of like I'm using my mind. To control this. Oh god, no, I'm not ready. Oh, I'm having hot flashes. I'm having hot flashes. I'm having actual freaking hot flashes. I don't know what's going to happen if the silence grabs us in this, okay? It might break. It might entirely break the vehicle and, like, never let go or something. I know that's an issue that happened last time. Ooh. Ooh. I have. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I don't want to do this. Why am I doing something I don't want to do? Seriously, I could be a construction worker. I could be a police officer. I could be a lawyer. And instead I'm choosing to do this. Okay. It's... It's... Caution. Detecting no! unusual sound wave activity. Ah! Origin unknown. Wave amplitudes to make... Stop. Don't do that. No, don't, 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 don't. Go away. Go away. Okay, so the secret to this. 
I think. Oh, 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 oh god damn you! There is no secret! There is no- Oh fuck! 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 Oh god! It just It just It just sneaks up on you, man. It just I wasn't moving. I wasn't doing anything. I have back pains now. I actually have pains in my back. And I'm sweating. I don't- Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try and make my happy ass back there again. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna use the cricket. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna hope that being tiny means that I'll be okay. <laughs> but that thing messed up the ion sub, and I'm not okay with that. In one hit. Uh, uh. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm gonna jump in this tiny thing. This thing that's smaller than the, uh, <laughs> than the Seamoth. I'm gonna try it again, I guess. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do... Can I add upgrades to this? Does this thing have upgrade ability? Where can I... Access upgrades. Okay, so it can take four. So, like, will these work? Will this, like, actually work in this? Well, does this one work? So I found some real comfort in the fact that I could have some upgrades on this vehicle so I could maybe stand a chance against the silence in the smallest submarine I've ever used in Subnautica. The issue is that because they're still in development, the upgrades don't work. Why is it getting so freaking dark, man? It doesn't have, like, the daytime, nighttime speed is probably jacked up. Oh, 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 don't, don't do that. No, no. Where, where did you, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you, oh God. Am I already in the, am I already in the dead zone? It didn't give me a warning. I know my power cells are getting low. Stop telling me. I don't need to have you antagonizing me on top of this. God, I don't want to, I don't want to be out here. I don't, can we just take a rain check on this? Can I just, can I not do this? I, I've been putting this off. Specifically because it's terrifying. And I don't want to deal with this. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just- I'm just gonna go for it. I'm- <laughs> Oh, it's so quiet. Hello? Hello? Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep going. I don't- I don't think it's around me yet. I don't- Oh! Oh! I know, I know it's here. I know it's here. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where are you? I know you're here. It's here somewhere. It's canceling out the sound. So it can hear me. I know you're here. Don't do this to me. Let me go. Okay. Okay, I hear the water again. I'm good to go. Oh, that is... Whoa. Man, that is that is not a Leviathan. <gasps> Which should have been... Added to Subnautica. It's somewhere. I know it's here. I need Star Platinum back. I just... I need Star Platinum back. And I just tell him to kill everything. And he'd he'd destroy that thing. Okay, the water's back. Okay. We can go again. Oh. It's like it, it cancels out all the sound. So it can it can hear you. And the problem is the sound for this submarine is so instantaneous. I have to like <laughs> I have to stop for a second and keep going. Wait, 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 wait. Something's not right. Something is not... Not right. It's getting quiet. <laughs> God damn it, notification went off. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I think I'm good. Let's go. Okay, it's, it's not there. It can't be there. The sound is still loud. There's no cancellation of the sound. I'm almost out of power. All right. There we go. I'm here. Oh. Oh, the relief. I'm here. 
<sighs> okay. So, Aki was telling me that I should come back and look at the terminal itself because the value isn't in the data that I extract. The value is in the image itself and what it signifies. I see some kind of submarine, I think. What is this? What is this supposed to be? Is this like... It looks, it looks like that special submarine that they're having uh, developed. What is this? What are these? What is this? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like, little parts? Or the submarine? And then, they look like they're just the connectors like on these parts right here, but they're off to the side. Why, why is that? So, this is, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure he wanted me to come back and see the submarine itself. Okay. So there is also another part to this that I need to do that's, oh, God, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I really just don't want to do it. I have to try and scan the silence. I'm going to try and find the silence and scan it and see if I can get away. But this is what he wants me to see. And I'm assuming it's the submarine that's being added to uh, to the mod. Let me know if I got that right or something else. I don't know what these are, what this is for, if that signifies anything at all. But I'll download the terminal. Okay, I gotta find the silence. The hunter become becomes the hunted? Uh-oh. Huh. Uh-oh. Where is it? It's here. I know it's here. Oh my god, it cancels out the sounds of my equipment, too. Where are you? Oh, please don't. Please, please, please don't. Okay. I think it's leaving. I'm gonna stay next to the sub. And I'll use the sub as bait. Actually, I have to get oxygen back. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, it's so loud. Okay, shh, shh. Oh, you're so loud. Oh, great. You told it where we were. Okay, okay, where are you? Where are you? I can't see you, but I might get lucky and scan you. Yee, yee, uh, where are you? What is that? Wait, hang on. What are these fish? What is. I'm not just. You're. Avoid boomerang! Avoid boomerang! Oh, oh, god damn you! Oh, shit. It's right there. No! 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 Oh god! I got you! I got you, bitch! Oh. Oh, okay! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! My submarine ran out of power! It's out of power! I can't do anything! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! Don't do it! Just let me... Let me go! Let me go! Just let me go! Oh! Oh! Uh, stop! Stop the heartbeat! Oh god! Fuck! I'm never... I don't care what needs to be done. Let me change it back to day. I'm not going back there a third time. There will be no case of me going back alone a third time. Not happening. However, okay. Life forms, fauna, leviathans, the silence. Oh, that is a beautiful image of that. I'm kind of glad I went back to get that. Now I feel like it's it's complete. Uh, it tells you a little bit about it. It's on seems to be on the verge of starvation. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, sir. I've been feeding that thing very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, okay, exposed bone and muscle tissue. That's kind of wild that they have that there. Bioluminescent organ, uh, crystal formations. Okay, so then that's kind of cool as well. But... That is all I'm doing right now for this video. We do need questions for the Subnautica 3 Q&A. The next Subnautica, Subnautica next, whatever you want to call it, Q&A. So this Q&A that I'm going to have with the Subnautica developer is happening at the end of this month or the start of next month. Uh, I do have a set of questions that I'm going to ask them that I'm 
you know, I really want to find out information on and if they can answer those questions. I cannot guarantee that they will answer your deepest questions about it. Like, oh no, are there going to be vehicles? Are there going to be insert stuff here? Can we see stuff? Can we, when, when can we play the game? You know, I don't know when they're going to do that. But I do have a set of questions that are going to be tough questions. And then I'll be selecting the most interesting questions from the comments section uh, to ask as well. Your help will be greatly appreciated. That's it for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.